What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we have a new mail day here. We got some new sub boxes here, both baseball, and we'll do these at the end of the video, of course, since we always do our sub boxes. But if you're interested in baseball, and a lot of you guys have been asking for that, then stay tuned to the end, and I'm definitely excited to get into these. Uh, haven't done too much baseball recently. Used to do some in the past, but um, yeah, we're trying some again. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, I might need your help with some of the players and names. I know a good amount of them, but not as much as I know basketball and football. Um, also, we have some new pickups here, and these two, are two ones I bought recently. I think this one is also one I bought, but this one is very exciting. This one belongs on the channel. It's a very special card. I'm super excited to show you guys, and I think you guys will be equally excited to see this one. It's it's a very special one. So we'll get to that one also uh, very soon. And these mail days are always tons of fun. Unlike a product view, I can kind of just talk about anything sports, anything cards, my collection, just my thoughts on stuff. And um, yeah, I always enjoy it. And always a lot of talking, but I always, I always like uh, making these videos and hopefully you guys like them too. And if you haven't already, drop a like and sub. It really helps us out. Uh, you guys have shown so much support and uh, want to say thank you again. I know I've said it a lot, but really, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, we, we've been growing a lot, so hopefully it continues to grow. And a lot of great things for the hobby. We can enjoy collecting, sports, cards together, everything in between. And um, yeah, this is just the best hobby. And thank you guys once again. So uh, Instagram there. And the reason why actually this is pretty important is real quick. I have the stack of cards here now. With these cards, and some of these I've already shown that are available, um, I don't have prices yet that I'm looking for, but if you're willing to make an offer or you want to make an offer before I post on my story or in a video with a price, then feel free to. If you don't have an offer, you just want to know how much it is. Once again, I don't have prices yet. So just, uh, I guess, follow the Instagram for now. And then at some point, whether it's you know the next week or the next uh, you know decade from now, I'll post on my story with uh, with prices. But in case you want to get, get on these early, and there we go. Uh, here are the cards we have. This Dak from Honors, Cracked Dice. And they got this lot of Nikhil's. Got the Prism Jersey, two Optic Hollows. Got the Purple, clearly Donruss. And then the Flawless to five, which now I'm really happy I pulled. Got this uh, Galactic, which I got recently. But as you guys know, I have tons of cards. And I need to I need to start moving some of these cards. I'm sitting on like way too many. So i am got to choose which ones I want to keep and sell. We got this James Wiseman, Flawless. Got the Edwards 15 and 15 Diamond Flawless. Uh, Big Ben to three, the Claypool to seven, uh, this Kelly Redemption and this Simmons variation. Then we got the Antonio Gibson. A lot of you guys, I think we're asking about this one. I don't know how much I want yet, but once again, if you are interested in making an offer and this one too, um, then feel free to. And yeah, for now, just fielding some offers. So if you have one, feel free to email or DM me. And uh, if you don't have an offer yet, at some point I'll post them with prices on my story for the ones that uh, don't, you know, sell beforehand. But Always a lot of fun. So Instagram there. That's why I sell all my stuff. If you want any exclusive news, early info, Instagram is always the place to be for all those things. And uh, also check out our Discord. We have our sports card community as well as our Twitch. And yeah, always comment and share too. Also helps us. So thank you guys. And let's get into the cards we have. All right, we'll move these guys right here. We'll do these last, of course. And these ones should be pretty quick. So we'll go one at a time. Let's take this guy here first. And... I've been get buying a lot of cards, as always, but um, I've slowed down a little bit, and I think like the last I, I don't know after I bought the Luca, I think I haven't gone too crazy since. Like, whereas in that time span, I don't know, I just went, was out of control. But I've been trying to be, be a little smarter in how much I'm buying. But I always see a card, I'm like, oh, that's a great deal, I gotta buy it, and then I buy it, I'm like, mm, wait, I don't have any money. But here we go, got two thirty six. I wonder who this could be, Grizzlies colors. Oh. Is it, oh, Mr. Jaron? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought the name would be here, so I revealed it a little too early, but there we go, Mr. Jaron. Ah, this card, I actually got for a pretty good deal. I saw an eBay at auction, and I just, I don't know, I just like it a lot. Now, I didn't get it as rookie year, and it's gone up a little bit since, not as much as some other Jaron cards, uh, despite him not even playing, but this one I wanted, and I never just got around to it. You know, sometimes you have that card that you keep seeing, you're like, oh, I'll get it. Next time, like, oh, this is always going to be another auction. So I kept waiting, and then eventually I realized that not only was the price going up, but at some point there won't be as many of these just sitting on the market. And there aren't that many now. There used to be tons, and I was watching them for like 30 bucks. But um, happy to ha finally have this one. Jaren's my guy, favorite player um, for the Grizz right now. And yeah, just love him. Got those Concord lows. Looking nice, looking nice. Hopefully he comes back soon and just looks amazing and drops you know 50 points, 50 rebounds, 30 blocks, and makes the Hall of Fame while he's still active but very happy to have this one definitely one i want to add to my collection and uh, happy to really happy to have this one silhouettes one of the more popular kind of rookie patch auto sets and it's from crown in the past it's been in different sets like preferred stuff like that but 
Very nice card. Finally got it. And uh, I was almost going to buy a Luca one, but it wasn't a legit deal on, on eBay. So I, I thought I had a Luca for a steal. Wasn't legit. So that's my first of these from this set. Next one up. So this one is, uh, this one I believe, as long as I didn't mix the pile those up. Yeah, this one's a pretty unique card. Actually, I kind of have to go like this, I remember. Because this is in a different type of mag, and they put the mag magnets in the wrong way. Or maybe the right way. Maybe they just put in different ways for each company. But um, it wouldn't stack up properly. But here's this card from Immaculate. Number 123. For the Thunder, Darius Baisley. So I've been buying a little bit of Baisley here and there. I'm a fan of his game. And this one was one that I saw. Once again, I'm always like, oh, need to stop spending money. And I'm like, oh, wait, that's a good deal, right? <laughs> so I buy the card. Um, very excited to have this one. Condition's just okay. I mean, Immaculate can be rough sometimes. So I mean, any thick cards, you know, the conditions sometimes can be a little, a little rougher. A little rougher. But here's the card. Ooh, <laughs> one of five. Got the Nike swoosh in there. Darius Baisley. I love, love the Immaculate RPA. I know people like National Treasures better, Flawless better bunch of other stuff better me personally i really like immaculate a lot great looking set cool card for the collection here and man, i love that that little patch we got in there that swish and um there's his auto very nice love it just love the love this set and one day i'll track down like a zion and jaw for this but very very sweet darius Baisley. i think he has a bright future excited to see how he does he's had some pretty good games so far had some you know he's 20 i think he's like 20 21 really young so i think he's 20 yeah so uh, lots of room to grow, and he's already showed some great signs. So hoping the best for him. And let's get to the next one. And see what I'm talking about? Like the magnets aren't put on properly, so you can't stack them. So I have to go like that. And now they you know, click into place. And finally, this card is just legendary. And some of you guys have actually seen this card before. This card was... I actually pulled this card. Uh, and I actually then bought it back after it shipped out and the you know customer received it. Uh, it was from our group breaks. And then we made a deal for the card and now it's back here. And um, man, this card just, it, it belongs here. It's a special card, but uh-oh, <laughs> it's Mr. George Paul, one of one. Woo. And some of you guys might be saying his name's Paul George. Well, we like have a little, we have a little inside joke here. We call him George Paul after he, uh, after he choked a bit. Now I'm a big fan of his. So yeah, I say that as kind of like a, not, not to be mean, but I kind of like poke fun a, a guy I like you know same like I call, I like LeBron but I love to call him like LeMickey because it's so funny love the love the jokes but like, I'm a big fan of him LeBron but the guy I like the most I always uh you know poke, poke fun at but one of one boom woo I like this card I like this card black one of one from Mosaic so Prism Mosaic here and uh yeah man wow gorgeous stuff now this was when uh, Mosaic was kind of just like a subset of or kind of like a little I don't know, kind of like spin off of Prism. So same, you know, shape and design and everything. And they just put the mosaic pattern in the black. So very, very nice card. We pulled this from one of our group breaks, PacmanSportsCards.com, where you can buy in. Pacman breaks is where we rip them all. And we just ripped tons of boxes. So if you like uh, what we do here, it's not so much a review format like I do here, where I'm going to go into the product and talk about it a lot. But we just get into ripping just tons of boxes. And we pull a lot of sweet cards. So this one, man, this card has my heart. I love this card, especially since we pulled it ourselves. So very happy I could... uh buy it back big shout out to the guy I got it from and not sure if he wants to be mentioned or not but thank you man this card is it means a lot to me i'm really happy to have this one so here we go and you know what i think i have a card stand here it would be an injustice if he's not in the back he's been playing well too i mean clippers look good of course there's the nets now there's the lakers with uh La ac and of course there's the grizzlies who are probably going to get the one seed and win the championship and all sorts of stuff like that and now for the uh the new products we have two here we got the hold on let me get this focus a little bit oh there we go the big bat box diamond edition so we'll do this one second because it's the higher end version and the big bat box this is the standard one so very cool box they have their own packaging um yeah it's just really cool i don't know i like this got that little seal there one day i gotta make my own stickers for stuff i don't know that'd be fine and got some pictures of packs yeah really nice i like the way they did it as always with these uh, products that we review the links down below in the description let me know in the comments what you think of it what you like what you don't like and all sorts of stuff like that wrote some information down so while we get into it we'll go go over it first let me just cut it so i don't you know cut myself while i'm trying to go over it 
But yeah, this is the standard, and this one is uh, $39.95 per month. So there's like a monthly subscription. That's why they're called sub boxes. And I think that's everything I need to cut. Uh, we'll find out right now. There's last information you gave me, and of course they update it all the time, so check out their site for the current breakdowns, packs, promos. But this one would have five hobby packs, one vintage pack, one uh favorite team hit. So say I'm like say I put down the Yankees, and I don't think I put down my favorite hit at the time, which We'll, we'll see what team I get, but you can put down your favorite team and you also get one raffle ticket. So, for example, the prizes this month were, uh, I believe it was a Ted Williams sign ball, uh, Yogi Berra, and someone else for this month. I don't remember what it was last month, but here's my my ticket here. I don't know if I'm not supposed to show that, but oh well. And here's what we got. Oh, perfect. So all the information's right here, actually. So, okay, I, I could have just read it off of here, but... There we go. Got that nice little logo. January 2021 edition. Happy New Year. And I mean, that's crazy. It feels like it's so long ago that it was the New Year, but it is the New Year. And um, yeah, here we go. So you get all five of these packs. You get 2020 Heritage High Number. Heritage is actually one of my favorite baseball sets. I Right to my right, I have just stacks of Heritage boxes I rip. Me and this Pac-Man like to rip into Heritage. And um, yeah, we just pull, we just keep all the cards. I don't even sell them. I just have a bunch of Heritage cards. Got 15 Donruss. All right. And of course, it's one in 24 uh, hit odds. And then there's Don Russ, 2020 Top Series 2. And they tell you who you're looking for, too. So, you know, someone who's maybe a little bit of a baseball noob like me could definitely use this. So Kyle Lewis, Luis Robert. I always thought it was Robert, but it's Robert, apparently. And um, 2020 Top's Pro Debut, Bobby Witt. And uh, 16 Optic. I th is that that might have been one I ripped. Maybe it was 17 Optic. I don't know. At one point, I was ripping a lot of Optic Baseball, too. Didn't know they didn't have no logos until... I didn't even realize until after I ripped all the boxes too, so. But also in the box, one factory sealed vintage pack, 87 tops. Hmm, that's pretty cool. One favorite team hit and auto um, auto relic and supplies. There's a raffle here, so it looks like you get all this stuff, pretty sweet stuff you can get. Plus randomly inserted, superstar autographs, graded cards, uh, bonus packs, bonus hits and more. A lot of stuff, there's their site. Ooh, got a lot of stuff, I like, I like that they have it all right here. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, I'll link their site down below. Awesome. So thanks a lot. All the information that I wrote down was right there. So now I didn't know it would be on there. But take out these peanuts and put them down here. And let's see what we got in this box. Always like ripping packs. The channel is called Pac-Man because there's a, there's a rumor, there's a legend out there that I liked packs couldn't tell already but here we go now, i don't know my baseball guys too well uh ron paranoski ron Perin yeah right am I, am I saying that wrong i apologize once again i don't claim to know baseball as much as i know the others but um baseball was the first sport i actually was a fan of and i played that one before i played any of the others and always always liked baseball but nice so 50th anniversary i think you can pull the, are those the ones you get from uh the I'm not too sure if those come from the heritage boxes. They might. But I feel like I have some of those. So let's get our packs out. And here's empty box. It's a nice box. All right. Here's our next month stuff. Oh, so yeah, there we go. There's all the prizes for the next month. So very nice. You get to look forward to what's next. And we've got a Mike Trout premium hit of a jersey. Nice. Mike Trout. Heard he was somewhat good at baseball. Premium hit. Nice. And uh, yeah, game, game worn. There we go. I like to see that. Game worn's good. Basketball and I guess baseball too. A lot, decent amount of game worn. Football sometimes. They like to give you that player worn, but we're not we're not feeling that sometimes. Got 2020 baseball uh, tops heritage high number. Love heritage. Uh, 2020 baseball series two. All right. And there's the pro debut. There's the optic. And then the this is the Donruss 15, I believe it was. And then this is the 87. Vintage pack. Wow. Yeah. I mean, once again, I mean, I've never really ripped a lot of the older stuff, and I also don't know too much about the older stuff, but it's always fun to get into them and try to learn some more, and yeah, it's just exciting. We'll go in this order. I'm not really sure what's the best, but we'll start with this one here, and you guys can help me out. If I pull something good and I just pass right by it, I'm going to need your help. <laughs> Say, hey, that was good. You pass right by it. Here's some help. So a lot of just base cards here. That's, uh, we're familiar with Don Russ. Same thing with, you know, uh, baseball, uh, basketball, sorry, from a couple of years, and also football. We're familiar with that. Henderson Alvarez. This reminds me of um, 
Actually, it's the same year, 1415 diamonds that we rip in the boombox sometimes. So that's why looks very similar. Ernie Banks, all-time Diamond King. Nice. So there we go. Got a little filler. Look in that. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Looks like it's a PSA 7 filler. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some with the fillers. That one's probably only worth like 200 then. Now for the optic. Let's see what we got here. All right, Justin Upton there. Got something shiny coming up. Ryan Dozier and Corey Seager. Oh. Hollow, too. And then uh, Diamond Kings, Jason Hayward. Wow. How about that? That's not bad, right? I'm not too sure the desirability of these in baseball as much. Obviously, this top baseball, but the rated rookies, at least for Panini stuff, that's a, that's pretty good. And Corey Seager's a good player. I mean, yeah, thumbs up, right? And if, uh, yeah, I mean, if that's not good, then please do let me know if I'm excited for no reason. But I think that's a decent poll. So for now, we'll mark it down as a yes, a good. All right, so some pro debut. Let's see what we got in here. I was trying to get really big into baseball about maybe a year, year and a half ago. And I was always looking at like the prospect list. I was always trying to like just learn more. And I don't know, I wasn't just, it wasn't clicking on as much for me. But I, I watched actually a lot of baseball, especially as a Yankees fan. I uh, always like watching the Yanks, although not the result we wanted this year. So here's our base cards. Yeah, just, I don't really know what I'm looking for in this one. I've never ripped any pro debut, I don't think. One of the few products I haven't ripped because over the years I, you know, grabbed a couple of hobby boxes every now and then. But I never think I, I got any of this stuff. Uh, Zach, Rex. All right. It looks like it's a special card of some sort. Okay, it's like an insert or something. And then I think that's it. All right. Yeah, I mean, if I miss something in here, you let me, please let me know. But I didn't see anything that looked different from any of the other ones, right? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, next one up. Heritage, I'll, I'll know a little more. What's odd is these packs actually are a little bit different. Usually they have that kind of jagged edges. And you can just rip it down real easy. All right, let's see. Oh, aw. This first guy, that's just a base card. Got a little. Maybe that was my fault. And got a... Oh, whoops. Maybe maybe it was my fault. Fumbling the cards. Uh, first of all, maybe look at that number six, seven, right? You always look for that. Yeah, so this is... I don't know if it's a short print or something or some sort of variation. This would be something here. Um, I don't think it... Does it tell us? It used to tell us... Yeah, I think this might be something. Oh, no, it's an insert, right? Is this an insert? I don't know. See, I've ripped, I've ripped Heritage, but by no means am I an expert. Jonathan or Hernandez and uh, Tom Eshelman. All right. Well, if I miss something, once again, tell me. I'll, I'll run back to this pile of cards and I'll, I'll pull them out. But yeah, so this is just an, an insert there, I think. But always the backs kind of tell you whether it's like a color swap, something like that. I don't know. Um, flip stock, stuff like that, you know? Cool. I didn't pay close enough attention, and I realized it, was, it says something it was completely different than the other ones. Let's see what we get in this one. And I forgot who we were looking for. They gave us the list. But when I, when I see him, I'll, I'll know. <laughs> that never happened. All right. I'm looking out for like a rookie logo or something. I don't see anything yet. Oh, I see something very, very sparkly and shiny. Oh, there's a rookie there. James Marvel. Bryce Harper. Okay. Uh, 2030. All right, that's, that's a cool looking card. Yeah, but I don't think anything too crazy, but a cool looking card. Pujols, Warrior of the Diamond. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, and finally, and this is the standard one. I mean, it's crazy how much cheaper baseball is. I feel, a, I think a stick of gum in here. I think it's a stick of gum. I feel it. <laughs> it's just a piece of gum. Should we chew it? Oh, let's see. No, I'm not good. I'm not gonna eat it. Unless I want to, I'll be in the hospital in an hour. All right, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I'll just uh, go on the list. And if I'm not familiar with my current players, I'm definitely not familiar with some of the older legends, stuff like that. 
Spring Fever Baseball. Win a trip for... wonder if this is still good to the 1988... All right, yeah. I mean, let's enter that and see if we can win. Maybe I can bring my, my stick of gum. All right, so I'm looking out for something. Any of those names we saw earlier, as well as anything that stands out. Uh, once again, something good's pulled. Let me know ASAP, and I'll, I'll come flying back to the stack and pull it out. But I don't... Uh, Tommy John. And I think that's it, right? Uh, yeah. I don't think we got any of the, the guys on the list, but I mean, it's cool. Some older cards. It's probably some of the older oldest cards I have, period. But, all right, get our little thing here. One of one stick of gum. And that stack just got a little tipped over. All right, let's see what the diamond box is working with. And I think that, once again, we had that little sheet. So, I won't read it out. One thing I don't think I saw in the first one that I know that I wrote down here is uh this one's 125 a month so the higher end version and uh, oh oh so you get with this little card your box contains all hobby of course 18 oh whoops oh it's the black box yeah you guys told me what, why i was doing it last time so now i guess i know why um 18 uh, not 18 <laughs> i keep saying it wrong uh 1989 i can read maybe uh upper deck low series so iconic ken griffey jr rookie hmm. 18 bowman Luis Robert, I, I definitely want that. 18 Chrome, Acuna Soto Torres. I repped so much of that and never pulled any Acunas, which is which is terrible. But um, yeah, it's a shame. 2020 Bowman, Dominguez ripped some of that too. 2020 Bowman's best, loaded with autos, uh, one in three. 2020 Bowman, draft jumbo, top prospect autos. Cool. So once again, and also look for, uh, there's only 300 of these boxes, 300 made, but look for a 11 tops update pack with the trout, chance at a trout, trout rookie. One Hall of Fame auto relic, two raffle tickets. And yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Nice. The packaging, I mean, they go all out. Got this little paper here, protecting our stuff. There's our packs. Let's get these guys out of here. All right. Wrapped up in this little sticker. The sticker game's like 10 out of 10. Got these two raffle tickets, so I guess I'll see if I won. We used to have a raffle at my school, and I'd always try to enter to win the Wii back in the day. And I'd always lose. I'd never have good luck with raffles, but maybe this time, you know. I'm, I'm feeling lucky. We're going to get something crazy. We're going to we're gonna win. I'm feeling it. All right, so here's the packs we got. 2020 draft. There's the... Uh, I, I remember ripping this stuff. Hunting for... Uh, was it? Actually, was this the year? I think it was Otani I was looking for. Maybe it wasn't this year. I don't remember. Got 2020 Bowman. And then, yeah, so this year I was looking for a Tani too. So, I, yeah, same year. That was, the, that was the man at the time. Bowman's best. And then uh, Major League Baseball 1989. So, looking for that Ken Griffey. We'll just go in order, honestly. I mean, these all look pretty sick. All top stuff. I'm actually really pumped. Only thing I'm missing right now is Miss Pac-Man because we always do baseball together. Oh. All right. And here's our little our hit here. Let's keep going. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it is a Yankee. Once again, I am a Yankees fan. Reggie Jackson. Nice. Game used bat. Very cool. That's a nice looking card. Let's see uh, what we can find out from the back. There we go. 2001. That's a cool, cool card. Nice. So we're already on the board. Now let's get into our pack itself. And, uh... This is an us rip. We're ripping this one together. We always are ripping together. I consider, you know, you guys with me in all the rips. We, when we win, we win together. When we lose, we lose together. But I'm going to need your help, guys. So what are we looking at here? Now, this year's design I actually like a lot. And if you know, Dominguez wasn't so much, I'd buy Dominguez. But it, he's, he's a lot. So let's see if we can pull one of his. Who knows? Now, I don't think he's in this one. I think he would be in that one. Yeah, this one. But still... A lot of good guys you can find. I'm not too familiar with all the prospects right now because I haven't looked at the list in forever. So if I'm pulling one of the top prospects, y'all let me know. Zach McCambly. Okay. Aaron Ashby. This is a fractor, but once again, not really sure who's who's the man in this stuff. Bobby Witt. Got Trevor. However, Yankee, but I haven't heard of him. 
Maybe maybe I'm a casual. I think I'm a casual. Got a Jackson Cower, and oh, uh, okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Uh, let's see. We're looking at this green here. Uh, not numbered. And I knew that. Oh no, I did know that. See, all right, I, I'm a novice. Seventy-eight and ninety-nine. Very nice. Numbered card. And my stacks are falling over. Yeah, look. If you're just watching my channel for the first time, you probably think I've never opened packs before. Um, unfortunately, I have opened packs before. But here we go. Heston Kirstad. Let me know how he is. We'll we'll get a sleeve for him. But uh, yeah, not not too sure. Not 100% familiar. Fun ripping baseball, you know. Me and his pack man rip even slower than this. We're just like, huh? Who's this? Like, huh? Looking him up, and I always go on like start. I'll Google like every player and see who's good. But auto there, even if he's not that good, it's cool again auto. And just see Franklin. These are the papers. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm relying on you guys. All right, this product bring back some memories. Let's see what we can get. I know Hunter Green, I think. Otani. Um, at least Robert. I remember, yeah, he was in here too. But at the time, you know, I didn't. I was like, who, who the hell is who's this guy? I don't know him. Who's who's this nobody? Because I'm, I'm I was super casual. Uh, Bowman birthdays. Matt Chapman. Got a Mitch Keller. All right. Got a Juan Soto. That's cool, but not his first year. And there you go. Once again, anything good? Let me know. If I put something in the wrong pile, <laughs> yell at me down below in the comments. You want to see more baseball? Let me know. I was maybe I'll toss them in mail day stuff like that. And if it gets really big one day, maybe we can have standalone videos again. But that might be somewhat down the line. Justin Dunn. But yeah, drop a like if you want to see some more of that. All right, got talent pipeline. Um, not too familiar with any of those guys. Once again. I haven't checked. Uh, oh, Bobby Witt. There we go. That's a good one. Paper, but still cool. And no big names on the chromes there, but at least no big first. Put them here. I have a bunch of random, random like baseball stuff. If I don't know if you want a big lot of random stuff, I literally have no clue what I have, but just tons of baseball stuff from products I ripped. Then yeah, maybe I'll I'll move them. I just have no clue what I got. Chance Cisco. Now these guys I remember. I ripped like 10 hobby boxes of this stuff. Uh, Francisco Mejia. And uh, Michael Franco. And Jose Altuve. All right, well, none of the none of the, the big guys. Reminds me of 2018 when I was ripping this stuff. And Bowman Best. Got Mr. Judge. There we go. I have a bunch of Judge cards because that was kind of like when I came back into baseball a little bit. Got Yelich, Hassel, got uh, Aquino, power producer. That's a decent card. And, oh, Bryce Jarvis. Bryce, hmm. I'm trying to think. Do I? I don't think I know Bryce Jarvis. Dustin May. Refractor there. That's a pretty cool card. Put it there. Aquino, solid. Autograph. Not sure what I'm looking at. And if those cards are better than I just made them out to be, then also let me know. But yeah, Bryce Jarvis. Not, not sure. Is that is that boom? It's so it's so weird. It's been a long time. I used to do baseball too. It'd be the same thing. I didn't know exactly what I was looking at. I was kind of just doing it for fun. Um, I mean, all my rips are for fun, but I was just doing it, you know, because I just wanted to do baseball. But I didn't know what I was looking at, and yeah, huh. I'm not sure. It's a weird feeling to just be staring at a card. But like I have no clue what I'm looking at. We're just having like the faintest idea, but it's 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 fun in a way. You're just like, huh, what is this? Like, what am I doing? Takes me back to the old days, which weren't that long ago, but all right. So looking for the Griffey. Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh oh, it's raining. I don't know what this is. It's a little Howard San Diego Padres. That's pretty cool. Got another one here. Oakland A's. All right. That's, a, that's cool. I guess. Hmm. So far, no Griffey. Maybe they forgot to put him in the pack. In this pack. Because certainly this would have one, right? And, ah, we didn't get him. Yep. 
Well, not this time. However, we did get some hits. So, I mean, for a quick recap pile, I'm sure I put some good stuff, some decent stuff in this one. So let me know what I should pull out or what here is good too. We got some autos. Kino got Dustin May. And yeah, baseball is a lot of fun. Bobby Witt got this auto of Heston Kirstad. Uh, Zach McCambly. And all these guys, not sure. <laughs> Once again, I, I hope there's something sweet in here. But a lot of fun. Ripping baseball is... I enjoyed a lot because just and Corey Sager refractor there ready rookie not refractor hollow ready rookie. It's a lot of fun. Just kind of just I'm kind of clueless when I do it sometimes. I know once again I know a little bit, but I'm kind of clueless. Got this awesome stick of gum, which is definitely still good. And yeah, I always I always enjoy it. Some other cards I picked up. Got the Basley and got the Jaren. And then as cool as that Basley is, where did, where did I put? It? Oh, here we go. This guy is the highlight, Mr. George Paul, Mr. GP31. I love this guy. Wishing him the best, and uh, this one of one belongs on this channel, man. I'm so happy to have it, and um, yeah, it's just a, a staple of in terms of my just like fun collection. This has got to be one of my more favorite cards. It's awesome, but that does it. If you're interested in this uh, in this product here, links in the description. Let me know in the comments if I pull anything good, if I um, you know pull anything terrible that I thought was good, and uh, also what you think of the box in in the, the comments. So um, if you want to buy one, check it out, out the link again, and. Very fun stuff. Should have some more mail days soon, as well as some other product reviews and other you know uh, content. So drop a like, drop a sub if you want to see more, and always appreciate you guys. That's it for this uh, video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.